Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome everyone to our Phoenix shedding service. It's April. Um, I, be, before I continue, I want to, if you can hear me online, I apologize. I'm not sure why we're having sound difficulties. Hang in there. Today is a very meditative, quiet service. And the moments of silence are intentional. Let me rephrase that. The minutes of silence are intentional. So um, please relax, enjoy. This is the Phoenix shedding. Next week is the Phoenix rising. And we will be in person then too. We'll be at our new location right over in Montclair. That is, um, right. feels good to say that. And we will be there three weeks in April on top of this. So we're in person four weeks this month. This is a different type of service. As, as I said, um, next week will be different too. That'll be the Phoenix Rising. Uh, just so you know, that is 99 South Fullerton in um, Montclair. So uh, please join us over there. It'll be fantastic. So um, relax. Enjoy, be still, and know. <laughs> Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and uh, thank you for being here. Uh, we start this morning with a reading. Uh, it's a poem by Dana Bowles, and immediately following the reading, there'll be five minutes of meditative silence. Breath of life. I breathe in all that is awareness expanding to take everything in as if my heart beats the world into being. From the unnamed vastness beneath the mind, I breathe my way to wholeness and healing. Inhalation, exhalation, each breath a yes and a letting go a journey and a coming
good morning. I will be reading from Science of Mind from the teachings of Jesus on page 439. Louder? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> New cloth and old garments from Matthew 9, 16, 17. In saying that, no man puts a new puts a piece of new cloth on an old garment or new wine into old bottles, Jesus was teaching a lesson in religious development. We are continuously living a new life, and when the old and the new do not fit nicely together, the old being, being no longer able to contain the new, should be discarded. Continuously, continually, we must expect new revelations of old truths. We should never lose sight of the fact that the soul is on the pathway of an endless and ever expanding experience and that the only expand that only by expansion can it evolve. This does not mean that we should cast away any good the old has to offer, but that we convert it into a greater good. Accepting the lessons and experiences of the past and taking the best from everything, we should press boldly forward, looking ever for truth and ever ascending higher and higher into the heavens of reality. There is no limit to the possibility inherent in all people. Let the timid soul put its complete trust in good and press bravely on.
by a force I cannot see or name. I am compelled by pain and something bigger than myself to leave the protection of all that I have known. There is struggle, doubt, and awkward setting forth. Finally, I break free of the cocoon and find myself surrounded by air and light. I dare to act still not knowing what I am. Instinct, or maybe faith, bids me move forward. Make the leap. Explore this mystery of change and flight. I find myself with wings that dwarf my former world. Unfurled, they dry quickly in the sun. I, who expected to spend my days crawling, now teach myself to soar. Such a rush of wind and freedom, that first flight teaches me more than I had learned in a lifetime of crawling. I invite you to silence.
to be in person, talk about falling into the arms of love. I know in a couple of minutes you'll all be doing that, into one another's <laughs> arms of love. This is just such an incredible, wonderful, loving, kind, and caring community. I'm so blessed that I tripped into this. <laughs> you may feel the same way. It's, um, it's great that you're here. For those of you online, Hopefully you heard most of it, that <laughs> we got that ironed out. So thank you, Richard, for helping with that. Uh, it is, um, again, in person next week. Uh, just so you know, it's B'nai Cachette, 99 South Fulton Ave. There is parking behind the building. There's on-street parking. Parking is not an issue. You'll see the building. Our sign will be out in front, so we'll be able to recognize it as you come up to it. It's a beautiful location. Bring friends, bring family. This is a beautiful sanctuary. It's fantastic. So, and wonderful people. Thank you, Benet Cachette, for working with us on this. And thank you for Regina for finding it. So. Um, everyone, please continue with your giving. It's making all this possible. It's making the new place possible uh, in any way that you give. So we do have one more, uh, one more chant, which is a chant you heard recently that was written by our good friend and musician, Ray Atkins, for the retreat. So feel free to, feel free to sing along. <clears throat> Anything else? No, just don't go anywhere until this one's over. <laughs> it's not like an exit song, like you start talking to me. Yeah, sure. <laughs> or you start eating a bagel. Or <laughs> don't go to the bagels early. We I want them to dance, everything. right? We want them to dance and I have sing. excellent peripheral vision. That's, uh, <laughs> yes, mommy. That's, uh, that's the musician's version of Be Still. <laughs> and no, uh, thank you. Face. When you fell from the 
Thank you all. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I think Shalene says it's okay to stand up now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>